Alright, hey guys, I'm a bit sick at the moment, so I apologise for my voice if it fails. But here's just a quick video trying to help you get Quake set up in the new version through Steam. Now, I don't want to make this video too long, so please hit pause if you want to change the settings as we go. Now, you'll notice that I've just got sensitivity at 0.47, that's because I use a pretty high DPI. And I do use invert mouse, it's what you get used to, I can get used to both, but I prefer inverted. Uh, we won't go into why, that's a debate for another day. Zero mouse acceleration, even though it looks like I move very quickly, I actually do it all just manually, there's no acceleration on it. So you can set it up, but I would recommend not, I prefer without, but it's really up to you. Just going into the basic settings, I do use field of view 110. I tend to be fairly balanced with all weapons, but if you're a sniper then I guess you can use a lower FAV, there are a lot of good players that do. But I prefer being able to see more people, it helps with rockets especially, and at least it just feels more versatile. I have a zoom key that's set at FOV 65, so that way I can zoom in and just get that extra accuracy when I need it. Now these settings you what you want to change. Screen shake on hit, zero. Screen bob on walk, zero. I use impact sparks and I use velocity fairly low, just because it allows you to see them a bit easier. I don't use sound on all weapons because I use wireless headphones, it's kind of stupid but I love them. So that way I have a visual aid to show that I am hitting rather than relying on audio. Uh, and in here you can see that I've got FOV 60 on zoom. So you can set it in here in the game settings and game menu. In the HUD style, just make sure you have the lagometer drawn. Put it on advanced, that'll tell you your ping and draw you a graph of your ping. So we know if you're lagging, which will definitely help your aim. I just use a dot for my crosshair and a pretty small one. I find that's the least distracting, I just need to know generally where the center of the screen is, otherwise I could probably play without it. In the team options, you definitely want to set force team weapon color and enemy color, because that's going to allow you to know who fired the rail at you. Team damage indicator and enemy, put those to black, but we're about to turn that off anyway. Make sure this is set to zero. That's the cause of that stupid red blob in your face every time you get hit. It's just like this blur over the screen, it's completely unnecessary and just kind of horrible and distracting. So make sure you turn that off. In weapon options, a lot of that is just up to you, so you can copy mine if you want. However, the one thing I will recommend is Rail Trail Time to 2000. That's this option down here, make sure it's on full. That way, not only can you tell who fired the rail because you see the colour, but also where it came from, because it actually stays in existence longer. And make sure you turn off muzzle flash because that's what makes the lightning gun really bright when you shoot it, which can blind you and make it a lot harder to win. Just going back to sensitivity real quick, what I try to aim for is when I flick the mouse, I want to be able to comfortably do a 180 degree turn. So I need to be able to look behind me. And that means that no matter where someone is, I can flick the mouse and usually get to aiming at them. Quake is a fast game, therefore you need to be able to do those quick flicks. And being able to turn fast enough to get there can be the difference between life and death. And also I use about a 28cm for 360 so you can base your mouse settings on that if you like. But after all these years playing, that's what I found to be most comfortable. Also for weapons, you want to make sure that every weapon is bound to a key. Uh, there's a lot of weapon switching in Quake, so you want to be able to access them very easily without affecting your movement. The three main weapons are a rocket launcher, lightning gun and railgun. Shotgun is the next one that you want in line and grenade launcher. Shotgun is just to finish off the people with quick kills. Machine gun is barely used because we now have the heavy machine gun. Plasma is an extremely hard weapon to use. Don't think because it's rapid fire and has big bullets that it's actually going to be easy. It's definitely not. The five main weapons are all the top three, rocket launcher, lightning gun and railgun and then have shotgun and grenade launcher. They're the five that you want to make sure you really focus on. The rest you'll pick up later and just for the fun of it. But definitely have those five on easy to reach keys. Lastly, just jump into console and type forward slash CL underscore, I know that's a backslash by the way, CL underscore time nudge and then set that to negative 10. It just helps with ping a little bit. So, I don't know, it just seems to aim better with it. It might be a placebo, but I found that I could hit a lot more shots with that on 10, regardless of my ping, whether it be 12 to 70, just 10 or negative 10 seems to be the best spot and just sort of makes it a lot easier to, to aim. All right, hope that helps. This is what my Quake looks like. As you can see, no muzzle flash, so it doesn't go ultra bright. 
And unlike a lot of players, I don't actually use high pigment. I just leave it on zero because I think it looks better and it doesn't affect my aim. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you have any tips and suggestions, I'll put them in the next video so hopefully we can get everyone on the same page with Quake. Also, please like the video because it helps it comes up in search results and also subscribe because I'm trying to get to 500 for YouTube reasons. Much appreciated. I'll catch you in the next video.